What's going on guys? I've got here a 2009 Nissan Rogue and I'm gonna use this car to show you how to change your brake light switch, your stoplight switch. I'm also gonna show you where you can find the fuse for the rear brake lights. And uh, you may wanna change this switch also if you're not able to put the car into gear. Um, a temporary workaround for that is you can remove this cover here and there's actually a shift interlock button you can push down on that will allow you to shift this around. But uh, moving on to the fuse, that's inside the car. To the left of the steering wheel is a cover for us to remove. So let's take a look at that first. So we grab this piece and just pull it outward and let it hinge down. And you can read about the fuses on the back here, but I'll just go ahead and show you the one you need to check. So it's a 10 amp fuse and it provides power to your brake light switch. And this power is then sent to the brake lights when you step on the brakes. So I've got the fuse pulled out. You can see what a good fuse looks like here. This fuse is intact. So let's get this reinstalled. Now let's take a look at the uh, stoplight switch. I'll show you how to change it. Um, there's also a common issue that can result in your brake lights being stuck on. So if your Nissan Rogue always has the brakes on, or the brake lights on rather, you'll want to check to see if any of these grommets are missing. These grommets are uh, kind of rubberized plastic and over time they can disintegrate and fall out and when that happens when the grommet does fall out the brake light switch will think that you're always hitting the brakes and so the brakes will just be stuck on so definitely something to check out there now you'll note there are what appears to be two brake light switches according to my documentation for the 2009 Nissan Rogue the switch on the left is for the brake lights as well as the shift interlock. The switch on the right is for the computer. So this is mostly for the cruise control according to my documentation. However, the removal for either switch is identical. So you grab the switch, you rotate it counterclockwise about 45 degrees and it comes right out. Now before you remove this, you'll wanna take special note of the clearance between the grommet and the switch itself. Because when you install your new switch, you'll want to mimic that distance. So we rotate this, it comes right out. And to disconnect it from the electrical circuit, you push on this little tab right here and the plug will come right out. You'll want to inspect the plug and make sure that it's clean, free of corrosion and not burnt out. And when you install your new switch, you could put some dielectric grease on the connector before you install it. But uh, we're, gonna we're gonna install the new switch into the plug here. Now at this point, you can get out of the car and look at your brake lights. They should be on because the brake lights are supposed to come on whenever this plunger comes out of the switch. Now, when you install the new switch, you push it in and this can actually lock in any number of positions. So you want to establish a good distance. If you push it in too far and lock it, you may have to push on the brake pedal quite a bit before the brake lights come on. On the other hand, if the switch is too far to the rear, like this, your brake lights may be on all the time or they may flicker on and off if you hit speed bumps and stuff. So definitely something to check out. I like to back up to a building that has a glass exterior at night and that way I can look at the reflection of my brake lights without getting out of the car and I can fine tune the position of the brake light switch. So yeah, I hope that this information has been helpful for you or at the very least a good starting point in uh, troubleshooting the brake lights on your Nissan Rogue. If you have any questions, I'd like to hear about it down below. Also, please do chime in if you have any advice. Thanks for watching.